Hi everyone, welcome back to MindDesk. Let's go over basic actions today. By selecting and holding the trigger finger, you can hover over the geometry and select all. You can start to deselect geometry by holding the left trigger finger and clicking on the pieces you don't want selected. If you hold down and hover over the whole thing, you can deselect everything. Similarly, if you halfway hold the trigger and hover over geometry, it'll give you a preview of what you're about to select. The left trigger acts like the control button in Rhino. So by clicking and holding the left trigger and selecting other pieces, you can select and deselect more objects. Once you select a command, use your right thumb to reactivate the command and notice the icon on the right that will be in black will turn to white. This way you're constantly in selection mode and don't have to go into your tool palette as often. In this case, I'll select this piece with the trigger and also using the same trigger, I will drag it over not having to use any move command, similar to in Rhino. Also, I can click and hold the left trigger while I select this piece and drag it over, copying it. Now going back to my tool palette, I'll select rotate, and using the thumb pad, I'll activate the command, grab the first end, and then rotate it to the right. To copy with precision, I'll go back into my tool palette, grab copy, and aim for the bottom right corner. That way I know I can snap from that piece to that piece. If you hold down the right thumb pad in the middle of pulling it in that axis, it will lock that axis, allowing you to pull it back and forth, knowing it does not leave the axis. You can use this in combination with snaps, like the middle for example, allowing the snappy draggy feature of Rhino to be activated here. So for example, I'll grab this piece, begin moving it in the green axes, and once I lock it, I'm able to snap to the center because my middle snap is on. This is very useful when you need objects to line up to the center or end pieces. The example we're using in this case is Legos, and you can see how useful it is to be able to snap to the center piece when moving over this block so it lines up with the next one. Thanks everyone, and stay tuned for more Mindesk tutorials coming right up.